Should you get a master's degree as an engineer? And if so, when in your career should you get it? In this week's engineering management lessons video, I have with me Marcy Gelder Murphy. Marcy is the ASCE 2023 president elect. And she talks about an experience in her career that really transformed her career related to getting a master's degree. So Marcy, take us into that kind of transformational point in your career. What was it that really changed the game for you? This is really the story of, I, I believe, what changed my trajectory. So I was working for the Illinois Department of Transportation on the Clark Bridge. It was a cable stay bridge construction project. And they had me observing the pile installation in the Mississippi River. And my supervisor actually was a geotechnical engineer by trade, but he was in management. And I was asking him a lot of questions and he said, you know, you should go back and get your master's in geotech if you're interested. We need good geotechnical engineers. And I did. I went back and I got my master's degree in geotechnical engineering from Missouri S&T and that changed my life. It really did. I loved it. I was passionate about geotech design and bridge foundations and that led me to the consulting side and opened so many doors for me and so many possibilities. Wow. So going back, so when you went back at the time, like you weren't fully into geotechnical at that time, but you learned about right. it from the, from the degree and then you were able to get more into it. Is that right? Yeah. I, what I focused on, you know, when you're getting your undergraduate degree, you take two classes in a certain specialty area. Mine was wastewater sanitary industrial sanitary engineering was really what i thought i wanted to go into and then i end up at the dot on a construction project i had not even thought about going on and doing a, a graduate degree in geotech and so i was so fascinated by the pile installation i wanted to learn more about it and never looked back that that has been my passion bridges bridge foundations has been my passion ever since that's interesting. And that's a really good point because a lot of civil engineering professionals, just engineering professionals in general, they will go to undergraduate and then they'll go right into a master's degree program. And I sometimes recommend going to work first so that you can get a feel for the different avenues of your engineering disciplines. Like civil, for example, has a lot of different subdisciplines. Yes. And so what you did essentially was you got into the field, you were able to oversee piles in the Mississippi River, which is a whole nother episode onto itself. But <laughs> But then you were recommended to go and get your degree in that field because you liked the work that you were doing, which I think is a good way to do it. Because if you go to undergraduate and then you go for a master's degree and then you go out into the world and say, eh, you know, I don't really know if I like what I just got a master's degree on it, you know, it can be challenging to say the least. So, um, so it's great to hear that that not only that kind of helped to steer you in the right direction um, and really had that big of an impact. That's awesome. So. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us, Marcy, and for, for everything that you've done. We really appreciate it. Of course. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed Marcy's message there. I just think it's important because a lot of engineers go right on to get a master's degree after undergraduate. And in some cases, that may be beneficial. In some disciplines or fields, it may be almost required. But it isn't always. And you could take the path that Marcy took and you can get out there and get your feet wet, try different things, and then see what you like, and then look for advanced education and degrees in that field. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing to our channel here. We put out videos like this on a weekly basis to help engineers become better managers and leaders. I'll see you next week.